Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today on Junkyard Truck. Well, I got a couple of things I, I've, I've done. I only have 300 a couple of dollars. Um, oh look, a new crankshaft. Hmm, wonder what that's for. I, I've, I've been collecting parts. Maybe. Maybe a little bit. I don't know. Is that a turbo? I think that is a turbo. Turbo inlet pipe. New head, cam, rockers, pistons, EFI because we're going to fuel inject it and... Oh yeah. It's getting whirly, boy. Uh, new new gears for the rear. As you saw in the last video, or in the first video, one of the videos, last video, second video, I don't know. Uh, we got new tires on the front. Still need to change the bead locks all the way around and change the tires all the way around. We're not there yet. We're close, but we're not quite there yet. That is a nice rainy day. So I... Oh, oh yeah. Let me show you this guy too. I uh, might have built the V8 almost all the way. I don't know. I'm only missing a handful of stuff to get it running. You know, I got bored. So there's that. And sometimes this release... There we go. Doesn't work quite the way you want it to. Just drop it on an oil pan. It's fine. It's not like it's going to dent. Only thing that'll do is increase the oil pressure. I'm good with that. Yep, there we go. And I accidentally <laughs> pulled this thing out of the truck earlier. I think we're going to start by tearing down the bottom end. I want to make this thing right. Like really right. Oh, maybe I didn't get it quite loose enough. Or maybe it's because it has oil in it still. Find out. Oh, dear God. Yep, every time I put something on there, I almost kill myself. It's fine. I'm a scooch pooch over this way. Hard, hard to, uh, Get things to do things here sometimes. I'll drain her empty. Fine. Don't worry, Greta. It's fine. It's just a game. Oh, come on. I got. I do have new oil in the truck. I've got a uh, new head gasket also. I didn't take the head off, but I assume since everything else on the truck is kind of, oh, I don't know, shot, that would be too. Oh, good. I didn't buy any, any main bearing caps or anything like that. I, I was kind of hoping they were good enough. And that stuff we'll do once we get the tranny pulled out of it. Not quite there yet. I apologize for building that V8 off camera. I, I wanted to. I know the pistons are shot. As I look through the... Uh, engine while I was underneath it and I could see everyone I could see was like a rust color so I'm going to assume they're all bad another thing I didn't do is, is buy a timing cover or the pulleys I figured they'd be fine for now don't really know but I'm hoping so I'm going to put my good parts over here I don't get them. Well, I'm not going to get them confused. But, you know, I did buy, in case I need to use the other car, I did buy a little bit of extra oil. So I've got that going for me. Thing's still smoking. It's been 24 hours since I drove it. I bet that head gasket will fix the, uh, it's not overheating anymore, but I bet it'll fix the uh, engine running so dang hot all the time. I also think I bought the cam gears. thought I did. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. I could still go to town and get some other things. Oh, no, I didn't. You know why I didn't. I know why I didn't. I didn't do it because I wasn't sure what was bad. If they were all bad, only one of them was bad. So we're going to figure it out. We'll go from there. Well, the distributor's good. Parts I'm not going to use, I'm going to put over here. I can always sell those for extra scrap money. Oh, it does have a head gasket. Oh, it is. Well, now we have an extra. 
just in case. Uh, I see one cam gear that is shot. We'll get in here and see how many more might need to be replaced. I know the crankshaft is spoopy, so there's that. Everything is loose as a goose. Oh man, they're all shot. All right, I've got the crankshaft in, so let's go ahead and slap some pistons in her. Is that not piston one? Piston one is at the back of the block. Okay, good to know. That means piston two goes there. Piston three goes here. Maybe. Yep. It just does a little does a little dance on that. Come on, give me the check mark. I needed a check mark. There we go. Now we gotta get back down on the creeper. Can't scooch forward, but you know. Oh, come on. There we go. Perfection on that. Where are you going to go, buddy? Oh, apparently in my face. That's fine. Just wait for it to stop rocking. Rock the boat, don't rock the boat. Come on. Take it home. Take it home. Perfect. Now, if I could just tighten things down, that'd be... There we go. But uh, I don't know when I'm going to put the V8 in. I don't wanted to see if this would help with fuel mileage and temperature. That's why we're doing this. And if it gives... the truck any more oomph because it needs all the oomph it can get this is this is going way way too smoothly way too smoothly i'm just saying another thing that you know just happens too much in this dang game rain it rains entirely entirely too often and too much in this game every day it rains almost the whole day all right, cam caps are right here. Make sure the head is properly worked down. All right, it appears that only two bolts hold that in. Fine. Not a problem. We're slowly getting it. This should mount up here. Really, only two bolts that hold that in, too? Okay. I mean, you know, whatever. Oh, stop it. And then this should go on here. Yeah. Is that already tight? Already tight. Perfect. This is like no time to build. Sometimes you got to see through the parts to get them bolted in. I think what I'm going to do... Time is it in game. Well, two o'clock. I think I'm going to... Take the car. Go pick up some extra parts, maybe. I, I don't know. I don't know. Put that away. Nope, stop it. Mount the throttle body on. Are we... Dang, we're done? I mean, almost. I, I still gotta get timing gears. They're still missing. Let's see about making some more money while we're out and about. Okay. Well, I'll bring you back in a bit. All right, I am back with a handful of parts. Finish assembling this monster. Stop unscrewing the bolts, that'd be great. 
So I've, I, I bought this. I bought all the timing gears except for the uh, cam gear, which I already had. So I didn't have to buy that again, thankfully. Bought some pulleys. Bought a new alternator. I uh, had to do some scrap finding. <laughs> to be able to buy it all. Perfection. And I think that's the only bolt holding that thing in. I couldn't loosen anything else up on it earlier, so... Uh, I don't need a flywheel yet. Grab the uh, crank pulley. Probably certain that's what this one is. Yep. Well, will torque her on down. Now we've got a fan pulley. Damn it. Did it again. Well, it helps if I grab the fan pulley, not the fan clutch. That goes after this. Perfection. Okay. All right. That's that, that, and that. Now we'll take this guy. Slap her on there. And it just is press fit. So it's fine. Slap the belt on there. Put the distributor in there. There's some wires. There we go. I mean, it, it's pretty much ready to go. want to double check and make sure I got drain plug tight. Yep. Everything looks to be. Grab some oil and we'll throw it in real quick and then we'll uh, see about getting this thing in the engine. In the engine bay. Now the pressure plate did look good. I'm not too concerned with that. Oh, come on. Dang it. I did this earlier and it wouldn't let me pick the block up. Put it down, I should say. And that's just held on by sheer force. And this guy. This guy gets bolted in. Yep. Oh, I didn't check the st starter to see how uh, it was bad or not. We'll hope it's not. The starter has seen better days. I think for now we will let it ride. We'll throw this back in the truck and then we'll put some oil in it. Oop. I do need to get the uh, creeper. Get underneath it. Tighten the engine down in there. Oh, I'm going the wrong direction. Okay, I guess that's as good as that's going to fit. Can't get those any tighter. I do still need a transmission and differential. Not differential, I'm sorry, transfer case. Is it, it, it's seen better days. One day, one day, just not today. Can't afford to do it today. I think the transmission is like 400 bucks. The transfer case is 250 or something like that. Don't quite have the money. Don't quite have the money. All this junk can go here in this pile. In this extra pile of junk. And it can live there until I take it somewhere to go away forever. Oh, you know what we forgot? We forgot this little guy. This little guy has got to go in here. Boop. And I guess that's just held on by sheer force also. Yep, what it looks like. Good enough for me. Well, 
Not sure if it's going to take any more or if it's empty. It's empty. Got 30 in it. Let's see if I can use this one. This does hold more than a whole jug of oil. Just so you know. We'll see exactly how much it holds. Well, it looks like uh, one jug and 30 ounces? I don't know. I don't know if it's in ounces or what. Oh, wait a minute. I can't start it yet. You know why? It didn't need to charge, but I wanted to charge it while I was working on the engine. Oop. You know what else we'll do? Since we had the engine out, probably would be a good idea to try to fill it with coolant, right? No? Okay. I'm going to say it doesn't need coolant. Oh, I know what else I was going to do. Got the upgraded engine. We're going to go under here. And we're going to take the four bolts, even though it looks like there's more than four. There's only four. Four bolts that hold this thing on. They should have some caps holding it in place. Yep. Okay. Just like real life. You don't have to shim these. All right. 4.1. I think I bought 5.0s, right? Front 5.0, yep. So this will make fuel economy a little bit worse. But, but, where'd it go? Should make it easier off-road. Oh, God, what am I doing? You know, that should be a really short gear ratio. Obviously, the fuel economy is going to go to crap. But, you know, it's worth it. It's going to help me do things I need to do. This one only has four bolts also. I mean, we're pretty much fully upgrading the truck today. I will have tires all the way around today, too. I just don't know about um, wheels. Just don't know about wheels yet. I'd like to have more wheels. And this one I bought at the junkyard. 230 bucks. Can't beat that with a stick. love this this is this is truck is gonna be bad ass sure it's tight boy boy and uh, apparently it's got ever never ever needing change differential oil because you know things and stuff now, I will have to do stop it I will have to do the transmission and transfer case at some point in time. I don't know if that'll be today. I'd like to have new tires in it today. Yeah, uh, if we look at this, this tells you everything you need to know. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Next, we're going to go transmission differential gears. Age 17 to 19. All right. Stock gears have the 4.0 gear ratio. Larger gears will generate more power at the expense of fuel economy. Large gears also recommended when using taller tires which i have taller tires on the front so that's good to go there yeah i know that yeah okay that's good enough so it's going to cost more fuel economy which i'm fine with Let's see if this thing starts be say be say party people Oh, it does, but I got to eat first, so I'm going to do that real quick, and I'll see you back here in a minute. First, I got a drink. 
All right, we know it starts. Oh, you can hear the turbo. This thing will move now. Kind of curious how it does in four-wheel drive. We'll have to look and see. Oh, God. That's not what I wanted to do. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll go to town. So, new tires for what? Oh, free dishwasher? I think. Washing machine. Give me the damn washing machine. See how easy you get distracted in games like this? It, it's really not hard. 500. And if I was to buy new wheels all the way around, I kind of want the double bead locks, but I mean, I've already got... I think these are the ones I've got. Or the one I've got. Well, maybe not. Yeah, that's those. Round holes. That's fine. Speed locks are great for off-road. I did have to buy the uh, the front gear. The rear one I got for like 200-something bucks at the, uh, at the pawn shop. This is where you buy all your parts. You didn't know. Let's let's talk to this guy and see what he wants. You here for that job? Sure. My service guy quit, and I have all these cell towers that need maintenance. Easy work, but the problem is getting up there. If you're able to get up there, all you need to do is flip a breaker switch. You'll also have to find a way to hop the fence, since I can't find the gate key. Oh, of course you can't. Well, that's fine. We got a new mission now. But I think I'm probably going to want better tires all the way around. Truck is being quiet. My door won't shut. Why is it on four-wheel drive? There we go. Now trucks doing truck things making noises. This thing is a freaking rocket. Can't do anything without spinning out. Can't even slow down on time. Ooh, another washer. Let's let's get this one in here properly. I thought there was a hot water tank too. I was about to say, dang, they're just all spawning. Nope. Can you imagine how much better this truck will be once the transmission and uh, transfer case is upgraded? Ooh, I cannot wait. Everything's still back? Yeah, everything's still back there. Good. Won't be for long. There you go. Well, thank you, sir. All right. 360 bucks. Heck yeah. Well, I got some bad news. My game crashed. And if you notice, like an idiot, I was too excited and wanted to drive the damn truck. And it didn't save it. Like an idiot. Like I've been doing every 15 minutes. Every time I come back to the house, I save the game. Now we're back here. Back to the beginning. So what I'm going to do... is what I always do when stuff like this happens in a game. I am going to do it myself. Off camera. Get back to where we were. But I'm going to end this one here. I do hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. If you want to see more... 
these are pretty much recorded back to back, so, you know, you're going to get these for a little while. Anyhow, whether you like it or not, I'm having a lot of fun in the game. Mayo Mike, sign off. Peace out, y'all.